All right, y'all. I'm going to be as brief as I can with this one because I'm pretty sure by now everybody's heard the news about the rapper takeoff for people who ain't in the know or have been living under a rock. The rapper takeoff from the group the Migos, they've been doing their thing on the hip hop scene for about the last 10 years or so, passed away in a shooting. And in the black community, like gun violence and black on black crime has always been a big thing. But if you look at where he was and look at the whole situation and the surroundings, the whole damn thing could have been avoided. This man lost his life over a damn dice game. In a dice game that he wasn't even involved in. He wasn't even the one throwing and betting money. It was his homies. And that's what makes it worse is he lost his life over a situation that he had damn near nothing to do with. And to add even more insult to injury, if you've been following the group for about the last year or so, you've been seeing that Offset hasn't really been on good terms with Takeoff and Quavo. That's the worst possible thing that you got to live with that regret knowing that you and a friend or somebody you was close to or you considered your partner never made up. Because not really to get too deep into it or in my own personal life, but in my circle, something like that didn't happen. Like, I would hate to have that, oh, me and this so, me and so-and-so, we not on speaking terms. Me and so-and-so, we ain't talking right now. And normally, something like that is over bullshit. Something small. Something irrelevant. Because I don't even really give a rat's ass about who's talking and who's not, who's on speaking terms. Because don't none of that shit matter when you, them, or somebody that you both care about is six feet under. Now you got to live with that, knowing that you've never made things right. But if nothing else in this video that I say sticks with y'all, just take this and go with it. It ain't nothing wrong with apologizing. It ain't nothing wrong with being like, hey man, you was right, I was wrong. Or maybe we were both wrong. Can we just put this behind us and move on with our lives? And also, as much as I hate to say it, this is bigger than just takeoff. This goes into the whole black community thing. Because when black folks get a certain amount of money, they can't do certain things. Like, I understand that you still want to be connected to your roots, but a lot of the times you got to grow out of that. And every time a black person calls a black community out on their bullshit, they always want to be like, oh, you bougie. Oh, you stuck up. Oh, you forgot where you came from. No, I didn't forget where I came from. I'm just not going to do the same thing that I was doing that can get me in further trouble. Because peep this, if I have something to lose, friends, family, kids, a career, I'm not going to associate myself with somebody who has nothing to lose. Somebody who don't care about going to jail. Somebody who don't care about using a gun to end your life or somebody you care about. I'm not going to associate myself. You, and also, when you're in situations like that, you got to read the room. I love my people, man. I really do. But we got to do better. And as much as I hate to say it, I think that we're going to be having this same conversation again a year later. Because look at who we lost. P&B Rock. Pop Smoke, Nipsey Hustle, Triple X, and the list goes on. But anyway, man, that's all I got to say. RIP Takeoff. Everybody, y'all stay safe out here. Stay safe, stay prayed up, and blessed. Peace.